Hello everyone, Larry Satchwell here. I can't believe I got that on the first try. There is a bluebird nesting, sitting on a nest in that bluebird box. That's the one that had the ants in it last year. It's too early for ants. I know there's not a lot of food around here. So what I want to do is hang a suet feeder, that suet I made with all the mealworms in it, right there. And so I've thrown a string over there. That, that's just a little bean bag my the son who climbs trees gave me. This is uh, Mason's twine. And I'm just going to tie this to the end of that and uh, bring it over and tie it off on one of these trees. That's the next step. I have everything set up. Got a trail cam here. And the horses, I'm sure, will discover it sooner or later and nibble on it or at least move it. So I can, I think it'll get the flight path over to here. It's another really windy day here. And this uh, feeder was swinging about five feet both directions because it's on a pretty flimsy limb. So I anchored it down with some rebarb here. I've got my other trail cam here. So in the top here is all those mealworms and the bottom is that uh, ultimate suet i made with just the peanut butter and the no waste stuff so we'll see what happens i have my two more reliable uh trail cams set up here my victor uh, 400 and 300 so hopefully they'll catch some images Put this up yesterday afternoon, and as you can see, it uh, didn't take long for the tit mice to find it, or nor the wrens. The wrens have really been enjoying it, but I was really shocked to see that the possum could climb this pole overnight. I mean, this, I don't understand how they did it. I was, I was really amazed. So, uh, it's not very windy today. At least the possum didn't get into it. We'll see what another day brings. The cameras are still set up. Well, I'm going to call this experiment over. This has been up for, I think, seven days now, maybe a little more than a week. I've filled two SD cards, and that's with 220 items on it. There are 110 videos, 30-second videos, and 110 still photos, and no bluebird landed here. One came by, was close. I put it at half speed so you could actually see it. But I was really impressed with the number of species that did come by. We had woodpeckers, the chickadees, the titmice, the wrens. The wrens loved it, especially when it was first up here. There's a wren's nest up there, uh, probably 300 yards away, up by the arena, in a bluebird box, of course. But no bluebirds. And that rascal of a possum. I don't know how he climbed that. What's that amazing? Anyway, I've got some live millworms that I might try feeding once the babies have hatched. They haven't hatched yet, but I have a feeling that the wrens will 
enjoy those more than the bluebirds. It's been a fun experiment. It's always fun to make your own suet and see what birds enjoy it. Thanks for watching.